Hi viewers, this is Akshay from EV Reporter and in today's episode of EV Reporter Visits, we are here in Pune, one of the major hubs of e-mobility in India. Today we are visiting Citrine Engineering's office. So Citrine Engineering helps companies conceptualize their vehicle designs on paper, do the prototyping and simulations and all the simulative tests using various softwares and not just start, they help build a drivable prototype of the vehicles for the OEMs. Today, we are here to see how electric buses are designed and modeled and how an electric bus prototype is made. We will see all of that in today's episode. So let's go and meet the Citrine team. So we have with us Melin Kulkarni, who is the founder and managing director at Citrine. And we also have Aditya Deshpande with us, who is the Tech2 marketing director. So Melin, can you begin by telling us uh, a brief overview of your services that you have for e-mobility. So we are a product development company. We work with most of the OEMs for uh, electric vehicle development, uh, let it be passenger car segment or commercial vehicle segment. And uh, we are in the industry for past 14 years now. And uh, why is it that OEMs would want to outsource this process right from designing to development of a prototype to an external organization like yours? So, uh, see, we are a young and dynamic company. We are very agile. The decision making is very fast our end. So, overall design and development, like overall product development time is very less or very crunched compared to any established OEM. So, we, we achieve the same goal in more than half the time what the OEM achieves. We are working with most of the OEMs already. So, that is kind of testament to like why they are working with us. Right. And what kind of team expertise uh, do you have here? So, so we have different departments uh, among our team. So we have structures team, the interior team where all the ABS and plastic components are uh, gets developed. We have electrical team, we have styling and uh, ideation team. Recently we have started on vehicle VCU development uh, team in-house. We have uh, manufacturing and proto team. Most of the uh, requirements are required for any product development. So those are in-house with us. And what trends are you currently seeing in the electric bus space? So yes, uh, there is a good uh, Indian government initiative current uh, in the market. And that is the major boost for the electric bus OEM. Uh, we could see so many uh, new OEMs, emerging OEMs are entering into the space. Many uh, giant businesses are get starting their verticals in electric buses. And uh, from the engineering side, uh, we started with the concept called product as a service model, where we developed everything to reduce time, to reduce investment, to reduce iterations. Now the industry is moving from ladder chassis to monopop frame. And the major difference is earlier all the chassis were on which buses been built are uh, used for both the applications, truck application and bus application. Now with our proposition or with the market requirement, there is a dedicated bus chassis being built, which where we are, we are getting into the picture. Also, if you can tell us about uh, your current partnerships with OEMs. So, but dedicatedly on electric buses, uh, we working with Ele uh, Electra, Electra Green Tech, then Ashok Leland, uh, Volvo Aishar, uh, then um, Eka Mobility, JBM Auto, and internationally there are where the engagements are already started. So let's now go and see what goes inside while developing a new product for an OER. So in the first phase, that is the ideation, basically a sketch of the vehicle is designed. And uh, once the initial sketch was discussed with the OEM, then it's rendered into a more accurate representation of how the product will look like. The rendering has uh, colors and uh, we get to see how the vehicle look from different angles. And we also put some surroundings here. Uh, we can also see that the layout of the interiors of the vehicle gets finalized along with the different elements of the interiors. Like we can see here that the cockpit uh, design is here on the screen and uh, along with the cockpit some other designs of the interiors of the vehicle and uh, this is the entry and the display section in the driver section of the vehicle and uh, this is a more accurate representation of how the design will look like these, these are the seats and uh, 
then from here we move on to the styling part. Now uh, Suraj, Shri, tell us what happens next. So uh, here in one day simulation, uh, we finalize the vehicle specifications like vehicle range, battery size, battery pack, motor torque, motor RPM, power, gradient, vehicle gradient maximum and uh, vehicle top speed. So after the finalization, we check on various parameters how my vehicle is performing. So all the components that were previously selected that will go inside the electric bus, those are here now fitted and positioned in this 3D model that we see here. For different components like you know battery, controller, motor, BMS. So all those components and their positionings are decided in this stage here. So this is this is a 3D model of the electric bus, as you can see. As per uh, uh, our regulatory needs, we made uh, some styling data. As well as after uh, com selection of a component, we have prepared one boundary box, and in our boundary box, we have packaged all data and positioning all data in as per design constraint. So here we test the vehicle under different circumstances to check the strength and durability of the vehicle. In this dynamic test, conducted as per AIC norms, the vehicle's rollover and its impact on the structure are analyzed. The next test is the urban bus test, where Citrine examines the vehicle's center of gravity and its performance under bump conditions. Another key test is conducted on the seat, known as the H1-H2 crash test which evaluates the structural behavior of the seat under crash conditions. The durability test on the armrest calculates the component's lifespan, while the fabric light fitting test ensures both durability and crash worthiness. Additionally, multi-body dynamic simulations are performed to analyze the vehicle's suspension and steering systems, focusing on their performance and reliability. So here we are able to see how by testing the vehicle under different circumstances in a simulated environment, we can ensure the safety of the passengers and the safety of the bus as well. All these tests, otherwise which would have been performed on a vehicle after production, we are able to do all these tests before itself. And this results in huge cost saving, time and effort saving on part of the OEM. As a last step, to enable the OEM or the manufacturer of the vehicle to go ahead and manufacture the parts or source the various components. The manufacturing drawings are released and provided to the OEM. And uh, this is a final step in the process. This is the facility where Citrine actually goes ahead and develops a drivable prototype. Here we will go inside and we will see some of those components that go inside those electric vehicles. Let's have a look. So Milind, can you explain us what these components are? So these are axles used for electric buses. Now this is the rear axle. And this is the air suspension axle so that you get a smoother ride. That is the front one. So in India, usually we have rigid axle configuration for front axle. But for international project, we use independent suspension. It is good to have independent suspension in terms of like to have a better uh, ride quality. These are like the international banks. We have imported them from Germany and we work with most of the MNCs so that we can get our international projects. So both of these are right now procured for our ongoing prototype activity. All right. So actually these are building fixtures. So based on our every time whatever design we make, Based on that, we build these fixtures, welding fixtures. These are different, almost uh, 8 to 10 fixtures we build for different uh, body parts like LH structure, roof, floor. And that's how we build our monocoque structure. Though look simple, this welding table serves a lot of purpose because in prototyping we have to uh, build many uh, custom built welding products. So we use it for that. Whenever we design product, our focus is usually on safety and comfort of the uh, occupants. So this, this is a driver seat. It is a three-point seat belt seat with air suspension so that uh, it is very comfortable for driver. These are some of the electrical components. This is motor controller unit, the power distribution box. So this, uh, this motor controller plays a crucial role in optimization of the energy consumption for motors. Right. 
So most of these batteries, what we use are DC in nature. Right. But there are some components which needs AC power to, to be operated. Uh, now the, this is also very important feature because nowadays like car, you get all the controls for your mobile, the volume control, all those on your steering wheels. So now this is a traction cooling system because as you know, uh, in UE's temperature plays an important role and we have to keep all the components cool enough to work in their optimum range. Okay, this is a traction motor? Yeah, so you can consider in conventional words, it's the engine of the electric bus. Right. And it drives our electric bus. These are aluminum rims, lightweight in nature with high strength. Even the tires are EV tires. So those are specifically made for electric vehicles. So what's different about EV tires? So EV is being silent in nature. Even the small noise a tire, it's not very pleasant to hear. Right. So these are low noise tires okay. used for electric bus. Okay. These are mounts used to damp the vibration coming on the body. This is the controller. This is a camera based driver monitoring system which monitors driver continuously while driving and it, it helps a lot in avoiding the crash and properly monitor the driver. This is our gear shifter. This is the navigation audio mic. Now these are the accelerator and brake pedals. They communicate over CAN in the vehicle. So CAN is something similar to LAN network what we use in the computers. This is tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Earlier it used to come in the cars only. Now with the latest TV buses you get to adjust steering as well. So this is the structure of the electric bus that Citrine has designed and they're making a prototype of this and we have with us Parikshit. Hi Parikshit. So Parikshit is the program manager at Citrine and uh, can you explain to us the different components and sections of the bus? Okay. So this one is a complete 12 meter electric bus superstructure. So this is the front region. So you can see and there is a rear region. So here is the driver compartment region. So where the driver can see. So that is a passenger entry area and this one is a compa uh, total passenger compartment where passengers can see. We can see uh, rest of the component, electric components and uh, luggage compartment from side view. So this one is the battery compartment. So you are keeping a high voltage batteries here. So total six number of batteries we are keeping in this compartment. So this one is the luggage compartment. Passenger can keep their luggage inside this two compartments, but again this one is the second battery compartment, so where again we are keeping 3 plus 3, total 6 batteries inside this compartment. This one is the rear axle area. These are the uh, cooling system compartment. This one is the rear DQ region particular, where we are packaging complete PDU, the DC-DC converters and cooling systems component. Till now, we have seen Citrine's design process for electric buses, various safety tests in a software simulated environment, different components required in manufacturing of an electric bus, and the raw frame of a bus in the making. What you now see on the screen is how the final product should look like. And we will see the remaining process wherein all the parts are fitted in the bus frame and the bus taking its final shape in an upcoming video. Till then, stay tuned.